Hey guys, super quick one. Um, working from home today, had to get some quotes and stuff out, so I didn't want to run into the office. And uh, Postman turned up with a package today. Uh, honestly, I was expecting it tomorrow, but anyway, um, it's here. I thought we'd do a super quick unboxing, just have a look at what's inside, uh, and then I'll have to stuff it all back in the box, because honestly, I'm going to chat um, and run off. Uh, I will point out, though, to begin with, um, it's a pack from your list early. It actually comes in the... Um, uh, original box that uh, Robotronics get it from rep, rep discount in. So um, the kit's manufactured in China um, from from uh, uh, Deering's design, and uh, then they manufacture it. They put it together in a couple of in, you know, all the major pieces, ship it to Robotronics, and they ship it to us. So it's a it is a proper um, uh, subsidised kit. So they pay all their royalties and all that sort of stuff. And um, yeah, ship, ship to this original box, that's all good there. Anyway, I thought we'd take a quick look. I do feel sorry for whoever else is in this postal run because their perfume is all over my box. So we'll see how we go. Let's go. Okay, like I said, I have to make this one quick. Um, as I've got to run off to the office, but let's have a quick look. Now, I don't obviously have a proper knife or anything on me. I'm doing it the proper way. We've got a screwdriver. So let's tear it open and take a look. As you can see, there is a bit torn out at the top of the box. That's not Australia Post. That was just me ripping the address off. So let's go. Well, first off, apologise if I'm out of screen. I am using my, um, my Nikon to shoot this. And unfortunately, it doesn't have a screen that I can see because it is only a 3100. Um, you know, maybe if the jar of rent takes off and stuff like that, I can get a go for a 7000 or a proper um, video camera. But hey, I mean, this is fine for what we're doing today, isn't it? Anyway, pesky tape. Seems to be a lot in a box. Okay. We have the obligatory invoice. Uh, I'm going to show you that, and we have some nice styrofoam padding with, oh, look at that. Don't know if you can see that, can you see that? I'll show you the bits as they come out. Uh, Alright, so, what do we have here? We have, ooh, this is all our hot end. So this is from the, um, uh, from the Bulldog XL hot end, so we've got the nice cooling plate, the cleaning kit, um, the spare nozzles, and all the hardware to assemble that. We have my 3mm heated build plate. Um, so that's 3mm um, for aluminium thick. Um, I'll pull that out at a later date. Uh, Robotronics were nice enough to throw in some sample filaments, so I'm not sure if that's ABS or PLA. Um, interestingly, the the um, the way to check, uh, according to um, uh, Diamond Age, is to set it on fire. So well, I suppose we can do that. Um, if it smells like uh, burning plastic, then it's ABS, and if it smells like food, it's PLA. Okay, so we have another little box of goodies in here, all Robotronics branded. I do like that. You can see straight off. So we've got a, a cooling fan, which is apparently is desensitive. Let me get out my wrist strap. Sarcasm plus plus. We've got oh an SD. Whoops. Unboxing where I drop all the stuff. We've got an SD card reader that goes with the Roomba controller. Uh, some heat sinks for the motor drivers. A proper ceramic tuning screwdriver to obviously hold your tongue while you're holding your tongue. Do on the Dave Jones says that you, you hold your tongue at the right angle. Personally, I, I'd say it's um, uh, Mark Scaife used to do it as well. So any V8 racing car enthusiast will know what I'm talking about. So we have this the Roomba controller here, which uh, that obviously powers all the electronics with heaps of stepper drivers. That looks fantastic, personally, and that's probably out of focus. Um, anyway. So this has to be quick, unfortunately. And the dogs are going off. Yes, I have two little dogs. They do like telling me about the postman and the kids down the street and basically everything. So, excuse the noise. Uh, right. Anyway, let's put that to the side for now. 
we have a uh, hot end. So this is our um, Merlin hot end. We've got the Grove mount for it. The actual hot end itself is in here, so we can see the. If I move my finger, um, we can see the hot end with the PTFE. Um, there's the wiring for it. We've got a resistor in there and the heated cartridge. So we're not using a, a resistor. We are using a full-on cartridge. We've got some wiring for the kit, obviously, and uh, all our T-slot nuts. Got some stuck bits. Ah, we get all the. Well, the Allen keys and stuff required to assemble it, that's always handy. Can't complain about that. I thought I was going to do a trip to Bunnings this afternoon. I probably still will. I need to get stuff off my acetone. Wow, look at that. Make sure this is in... I might pull back. Sorry about the jerkiness. Um, is that still... That's terrible. Learn how to video camera stuff, James. So we've got the actual part of the platform, which is nice, there. It's actually nice and light. The extrusions feel fantastic. Um, so the maker slide is based on Mitsumi extrusion along with these linear rails that um, poke out the side. So um, I'm not sure if these are, once again, I can't see the screen. So, but uh, what's which, which different is we've got that triangle. I don't know if I can try and get that in there. Uh, excuse the focus noise. Um, yeah, so they're a little bit different from a standard um, Mitsumi extrusion, and that's what makes them cool, because they're designed for linear stuff. Anyway, uh, you do have to be very careful with it while it's in this state, as it can knock pretty bad. Uh, Alright, what else have we got? We have, ooh, ooh, the extruder. Now there's some pornography right there. We'll pull that one open in a second. Might have to turn the compressor on this one time this crap away. Okay, we have more polystyrene everywhere. What are these little things? Uh, oh, mechanical insulators. Hang on, let's come back in so you can see what's going on. Make sure everything's... All right. Geez, anybody think a four-year-old was videoing this? Anyway, um, so we've got the uh, end stops, mechanical end stops. Uh, so these go on X, Y, and Z axis, so the unit knows where it is. I've got max, min and max units. So... Uh, we won't hit even if I stuff my software calibration or another wiring kit. Um, hopefully, I can get all this inside the extrusions. We have ooh, we have our um, Z rods, so these are responsible for lifting the platform up and down. Now, interestingly, these are on these um, sprung. Hang on, focus. I can't focus. These are on these sprung aluminium uh, units. They're for design. They're designed to connect it to the stepper motors. And well, that's great. However, apparently, according to Nophead, who I was ordering the original kit off, they actually introduce more problems than they solve. So we'll test and find out how we go from there. Um, so we have our Z axis here, which is all assembled and all nice and anodized in a lovely blue, um, which is is fantastic. All the mounters, motors and stuff come um, pre-installed, all the belts are done. Uh, I'm not, I don't think that's the right tension. I think they should be considerably tighter than that. They should make a plung sound when they're pulled from what I've read. Oh, and we have a beautiful linear motion on that. So we can see that we've got the V slide wheels and uh, they just turn beautifully on that maker slide. I don't want to push the steppers too quickly because they'll blow up. Anyway, we'll put that back in. This is awesome. I'm super excited. I don't know about you guys. You're probably sitting there going, oh, God, another update video. And this is our Z-axis. Uh, well, it's actually X-axis, but it's also our Z-axis. So it's lifted up by the rods. <laughs> I've got foam everywhere. So our extruder will mount on here um, and then this will take care of the XY motion and the Z motion will be handled by the rods that we were looking at before. So that is fantastic. It's all, pardon the expression, but it is all pornographic. Uh, I noticed there is some marks from shipping, but look, to be honest, that's just a little bit of plastic moving and whatnot. That's nothing to stress about. I, I'm really, really happy with the quality of this kit. 
Um, I should be able to get some fantastic quality prints out of it. Okay, uh, which way was that? That was that way. Anyway, um, oh, last thing, we have to look at the extruder. This is where all the magic happens. So, uh, for those that aren't aware, I haven't, I haven't done oodles and oodles and oodles of reading on 3D printing, uh, or are looking at getting into it, because I know that this will obviously be tagged, um, Woodbot Hadron unboxing, and, and you know, people have a look. Um, I'm going to kill those dogs. <laughs> Not really. Um, anyway, so, as you're probably aware, in, in some 3D printers, you have... You've got your parts will here that are responsible for your X, Y, Z movement, so they put the head where it needs to go. Um, the head is this part here, the uh, hot end as it's referred to. Um, so, let's... Uh, come on, I don't have time. Gotta go. Unfortunately, work beckons and work pays the bills for stuff like this, so... So, we have... This is our hot end. Uh, once again, I'm using a Marlin hot end, depending on what you decide you want to go with, because this is completely up to you. So basically, cold plastic goes in here, a hot plastic comes out this end. Now you have to install a nozzle that has a really small hole. So to give you an idea, that's, that's not the hole. Um, even if I focus on that. It's nice that this isn't auto-focusing. Um, anyway, uh, if... if that's, that's not a hole. I actually screw something in there. That's a smaller hole. Um, so, plastic goes in there, comes out here, and then it moves, which is what all the mechanicals are for. Now, responsible for pushing the plastic in that hole is the extruder. So, the extruder actually has a pretty important job. Um, and I will, I will go through some more of these components in a little bit more detail when, uh, when I get time. So, I'll quickly open this for you guys. Hang on. I have to... It's a, being a proper bulldog, they, they stick holographic logos on it. So the bulldog was um, is a machined extruder. A lot of the extruders in the wrap industry before stuff like this bulldog and the easy extruder and, and that sort of jazz, you can't see what I'm doing, uh, were, um, were printed out of plastic. So they weren't, they weren't fantastic, but it was the idea of the rep wrap movement. The idea was that the, the printer could print its own parts. So it was, it's, and it still is, it still is an objective of the uh, rep wrap movement, I suppose. This thing will not come open! Um, is that it uh, can print its own bits and, uh, and go from there. The idea being, really, is that someone in Africa could print, you could print parts for someone in Africa and they could build their own. So that is the Bulldog Extruder, and that's, wow. I'll just look at that. Look at that. That's porn. Okay, let's pop that out. Oh, Now, in saying that, this is quite heavy. Um, so this has to sit on that big blue L plate we were looking at before with all the, all the bendy bits and, and whatnot. So that's why the mechanical platform needs to be so strong. It's got to, it's got to move this about. So this is all machined aluminium and it's, it's brilliant quality. Uh, so the hot end slides in here. And then uh, the cold plastic goes in this end. So there's a, a stepper motor with a reduction gearbox that uh, turns and extrudes. So yes, I'm I'm really chuffed for that. Actually, is this supposed to be that's supposed to be a Bulldog XL? Was it an XL? Yeah, that's an XL. Um, oh, that must be the reduction motor. I'm blind. So yeah, all machined, all beautiful and fantastic. Oh, it's got quick release as well. So I want to change filament. I just press there. That moves across, pull the filament out, let go, and the filament goes back in. So that's brilliant. Anyway, um, I've got to put this back together and, um, and shoot off to work, because I actually have to, you know, work. <laughs> so, have fun guys, thanks for watching. <sighs> Friggin' foam! Polystyrene, straight from China.